Hey guys, hello again. Same day, another recording, another video. I'm coming back to you with probably my most anticipated pre-order, RTS order, anything order for the last three months. <laughs> this is the Rose Girls Mario pre-order with new uh, blends from customers. And some of these new blends, you guys, are so good. And I hope that she, that Jenny holds on to them and releases them every year. At least these ones that I got because they're really good. Um, I know that a ton of people ordered from Rose Girls. She also had a huge RTS just this last weekend um, on Small Business Saturday. And that stuff went fast. So good. She still has quite a bit of stuff left on her website um, from her like regular mini melter scents and a couple special blends left. But the ones that were really popular that everyone loved went really fast. So let me just show you real quick. I have a pretty big order here. Big for me. I know that when I think I have like this huge order, I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with all this wax? And then I see some other people's orders and I'm like, oh, it's like triple mine. <laughs> but for me, this is a really big order. Um, we'll start off though. This is her uh, business card. I love this square card. Jenny Oaks is the owner of Rose Girls. Um, I have spoken to you guys before and told you, oh, those flames on that candle back there are getting huge. <laughs> um, watch on, watch them for me, guys. Those are some big mushroom tops. Okay. Um, so Jenny's awesome. I told you guys before that Rose Girls will forever be my number one. I know like every once in a while I'll order from another vendor or I do, I order from a lot of vendors, but then I'll get an order from Rose Girls and I'm just like, this is why. This is why. I smell them and I'm just like, this is why she's my favorite vendor. Ugh, her scents are just amazing. That She just really excels in these scents that are very straightforward. They're not as, she doesn't make as conceptual scents or as like heavily blended scents as other vendors. Um, but I really appreciate her for that. And I do like some of those other kind of scents. Don't get me wrong. I really enjoy them sometimes. But the notes that you get in the description, the name, that is what you get. And I get it strongly and consistently and amazingly. And I just, I don't know. I just really, really enjoy Rose Girls. So um, I don't know how to start. So I got three loaves. And then I got nine mini melter bags. And the Mario melters are a little bit different. They're thicker, bigger pieces. So their bags are a little bit more expensive. Get your nose, sorry. Um, but I guess, let me just start off with the sample because I freaking love this sample. This was one of Jenny's new blends this year. I already have a bag of it. It's about half gone. Um, I had my friend try to snag a bag of it for me while I was at work during her RTS, but it sold out so fast. That's kind of the risk of doing YouTube videos and um, IG posts about scents that you really, really love because then when it comes to RTS, the ones that you really love get taken, but it's okay because I I really want others to enjoy and smell the things that I really enjoy. Um, so I'm happy to share that, but then <laughs> we miss out too. But once again, I'm totally fine with that. Um, this one <laughs> was a huge hit this year. And it's funny because it's amazing, first off, so it's not funny. But there aren't as many masculine and fresh lovers in the wax world as there are bakery and sweet. So the fact that so many people love this one is a surprise to me because it is masculine and because it is fresh. Not because it's not amazing, because it is. This is Spruce Willis. This was like an epic scent blend this year. And it, listen though, it is flannel type and spruce, right? Like it seems simple, but it's freaking magic. Um, oh, so good. Um, I am just, I'm getting this, my nose is going in this direction. It's funny because I'm liking more bakery, but I'm really liking more masculine too. And this is like intensely masculine and intensely amazing. Um, these pieces, I will be able to cut in half. I will probably be able to get six melts out of this with a 20 out of 10 throw. I'm not kidding. This is like insane. The bag that I already have, I'm so happy that she, for whoever cut that specific bag, um, the pieces are really tiny and I'm really glad because those tiny pieces throw like a 20 out of 10. It's insane. This is amazing. If you like uber masculine tree scents, <laughs> so good. I think I'll do the bags first and then I'll do the loaves at the end. So that's what I think I'll do. Okay. So this first one, I actually melted a two pieces of it last night in my kitchen and my family room. 
Um, and this is a blend created by B. Cronk. That's what she goes by on Facebook. And she's on the Ro uh, Rose Girls page. She actually came up with, the, with two blends this year that I purchased. So this first one is called Snow Kingdom. And these pieces are gorgeous. Um, and this blend is Candy Canes, Cool Peppermint, Vanilla Bean Noel, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Musk. Um, let me see if I can pull one out. Okay. That has these little snowflakes. Because Jenny and her team did a gorgeous job on these wax melts. I pulled out a tiny one, but... It has like a larger snowflake sequence, but it has smaller glitters too. And it's blue and white. Perfect for this scent. Okay. Ugh, every one of these, I'm just going to like gush over. So this is amazing. <laughs> this smells like, you know, um, like around the holidays, around Christmas, uh, every ice cream company seems like they come out with the candy cane ice cream. I know a lot of people don't like it, but my whole life that has been one of my favorite ice creams. So my favorite ice cream of all time is mint chip. But then during the holidays, it's elevated by candy cane pieces and it's even mintier, but it still has like a creamy vanilla-ness about the cream, the ice cream part of it. And that is what this is. But the musk, there is, I can detect the musk in here and it takes it just a touch away from being like a gourmand peppermint stick ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. B. Cronk. I'm sorry, I don't know your real name, but that's what you go by on Facebook. Good freaking job. I melted this, and these aren't even actually, like, cured. I don't, they don't have pour dates on them, so I'm not exactly sure when they were poured. We ordered them at the end of October. Go goodness, goodness, goodness. This is mint fabulousness with creamy vanilla, like, ice cream. And just a touch of musk. I got about a seven out of 10, like six and a half to seven out of 10 um, throw on this. But oh my gosh, I don't even care. It's amazing. Um, mm. My husband is not a huge mint fan, but he did like this one. He wasn't like, wow, it's amazing. But he did really like this one. So even though it is mint based, I think if you, it's not like completely nose clearing mint. It's not, um, but it's amazing. I think you would like this one. I hope this comes back because this does smell Christmassy, but it also just smells like a sweet peppermint, creamy vanilla scent that you can melt all year long. That is oh, so good. Um, let me just do, well, no, I'm going to do them in order of what I wrote them down. Cause I went in and wrote down all the notes. Okay. This next one, I'm just going to freaking gush over. This is a scent that people, on Rose Girl's uh, page have just gushed and gushed and gushed about. For some reason, I always read the notes and I was like, I don't have to have that. Like it doesn't, it sounds good, but it doesn't sound like something I have to have. Well, I thought this year I would just order a bag of it and call it good and try it out and see how it went. And now I'm in love and I should have gotten a loaf and I don't know what to do without this scent. <laughs> Thank goodness. My friend on Instagram um, and Facebook now, um, sold me another bag of it and I already paid her for it. It's on its way to me. This is Thwomps. This is pine, peppermint, sugar cookie dough, and campfire marshmallows. This is magical. This was the very first thing that I melted out of this entire box. Oh my freaking goodness. And when I melted this, uh, I took one of these uh, Mario melters, and not a big one. Let me show you like about the size that I did. So they're thicker than her regular. They're like the thickness of too many melters. Um, but I literally took this size of one, cut it in half, and put one in each warmer family room kitchen. And it was like an eight or nine out of ten. And holy crap. What is it about pine or, or tree and peppermint and sugar cookie together? So I've had that combination from multiple vendors this year, but none of them compare to this. And there's campfire marshmallows in here. I just smell a touch of like campfire. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, This is going to be an every year, at least one loaf now for me uh, purchase. I hope she's going to be doing one more release before the end of the year. Someone else asked for thwomps as well. And she said she'd try um, if she had the oils to make it, man, I'm going to be going through these two bags really fast. So I hope she does because holy cow, the womps is so good. So peppermint comes first for sure. 
but I get that pine. And then the sugar cookie dough, I don't get singularly, but it's there. It's like a sweetened cookie scent, but barely there. And just a touch of like campfire-y from that marshmallow. Just a touch of smoke. Oh, woo, woo, woo. Oh my gosh. I am so in love. Um, this is a new Danny approved every year. Amazing scent. I like don't know what to do with myself when that's gone. This next one was a new blend. Was it this summer or this fall? I can't remember. That everyone has gone gaga over. Once again, for me, this is one that I smelled the notes and I was like, I don't have to have it. But because this was a pre-order, I just grabbed a bag and, you know, gave it a try. So this is Cookie Land. Confetti cake, toffee butterscotch, pretzels, and cookies. It was that toffee butterscotch that kind of scared me off in the past because ugh, something is too ooey gooey. My stomach just cannot handle it. Um, I love the color of this, though. So cute for Cookie Land. And it's very, it's good. It's This is a super uh, sweet cookie blend. I definitely get cookies. Like Cookie Land is a great name for this. That toffee butterscotch is there though. It is there. Um, so this is really good, but I think what I'm going to do with this is blend it with any of my, like for the winter at least, any of my tree scents that are just too tree, <laughs> like too headache inducing tree. Because this is a very sweet, ooey gooey, heavy cookie scent. Um, so that toffee and butterscotch comes first. The pretzels might be in there. I'm not straight up getting pretzel, but I can imagine that's there. I definitely get cake and I definitely get cookies. It is dense, 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 decadent, rich. Um, so it'd be very good with like a very screechy pine scent that you need to calm down. That is exactly what the notes say. So take it for what the notes say. Okay. The next one is another blend by B Cronk on Facebook. Um, this one, I'm so happy she came up with this one because I really feel like we have a lack of good and different earthy scents in the wax community. And I am a huge earthy scent lover. This one is called Shadow Queen. Look at these colors. Beautiful. This is Lord of Misrule, Marshmallow Fireside, Tobacco, and Vanilla Bourbon. This is just not a scent that we see, a scent combination that we see a lot of. We just don't in the wax world. And I'm so happy that someone went out of the box and did this. So very first, I'm absolutely smelling Lord of Misrule. And probably next, Tobacco. I'm not smelling much Marshmallow Fireside, but I've explained to you guys before that Marshmallow Fireside doesn't smell like a lot to me. I get like a very vague, slightly sweetened, smoky smell, but it doesn't smell like much to me. I'm hoping that Vanilla Bourbon comes out on warm a little bit more. But this mostly smells like Lord of Misrule and tobacco to me. And I'm so happy with that. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And I had my husband smell through every single one of these that I'm talking about here. And this one, he was like, whoa, whoa, that smells good. So this was his favorite. Um, it's amazing. And it smells like it's going to be very strong as well. Okay, the next one I got to go outside of my box. Um to try another Mario Melter that I hadn't tried before that, you know, I wanted to experience something new. A lot of her Mario Melters are fruity and she does fruit well. Do not get me wrong. Um, and I like fruity sometimes, but it's not my favorite genre. Um, so I stepped out of my box to try this one. This is called Koopa Clausmopolitans. And this is sweet berries, apple and ice cold ginger ale. Now, what kind of sold me on this was the ice cold ginger ale. I love fizzy scents. I love ginger ale scents. I love ginger scents. Um, and so I gave it a try. So um, I don't know what color this is. Is this like baby pink and gray? Um, so it's okay. I get a little bit of that ice cold ginger ale, but not very much. There might be apple in there. I mostly get really sweet berries. To me, this smells like baby pink and something I would melt in my like little girl's room. It's okay. Um, it doesn't smell bad, but I was hoping that it would be like mostly ginger ale with a touch of fruit. 
but I know that other people don't like that as much. They like the sweetness more. So it's good. Um, it smells good, but it's not super fizzy and it mostly just smells like it smells pink. So sorry, that light is like really coming in now back here. So if that's too bright. Ooh, that's stuck behind my bed. I hope that helps. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. So it, it's okay. Um, probably not one I'll get again, but I'm glad that I got to try it. So I can't love everything. Okay. This next one I'm in love with. Uh, I have had it before in a sample only, I think, but parts of this scent I've had from multiple vendors and I love it. So this is called metal Mario. Look at those beautiful colors. This is described as confident and rebellious, a blend of smooth stainless steel and a seductive quiet man. So stainless steel is an oil that I have loved for a very long time. I love it in blends. I love it actually mostly by itself. It is like a very smooth, almost aquatic, literally metallic smelling masculine scent to me. I feel like stainless steel is a scent that if you don't like masculine scents, you can like it. Because to me, it's not super woodsy or super smoky or super anything. It's just really smooth. And it's, this says it's blended with seductive, quiet man. And it just has to be, mm, I want my husband to have this in a cologne. Stainless steel I get first. And I'm trying to figure out what that other seductive, quiet man is. I'm guessing it's a cologne, but man, it's amazing. Um, mm, it, ugh. I can't figure out what the other part of that is, but whatever it is, it's amazing. This is masculine. So masculine, fresh, clean to me. Oh my gosh. Um, my husband also liked this one. I'm just so happy Jenny has this in her lineup because this is just gorgeous, just freaking gorgeous. And it, it's very strong, <laughs> very, very strong. Okay. This next one is called princess. It's cold outside and it's blueberry pumpkin pancakes with brown sugar. This is not one that I would normally get, um, but I fell in love with her blueberry pumpkin. What was it? Blueberry pumpkin type from the fall, like the, the Bath and Body Works type. Um, I fell in love with that scent this year for some reason. I'm not a blueberry fan in wax, but blueberry bakery sometimes can be okay. Um, and this is good. To me, this smells a lot like the blueberry pumpkin patch. I think that's it, type. It smells a lot like that. Um, it also just smells like that blueberry maple pancakes candle from Bath and Body Works, which I love. It's mostly bakery with just a touch of blueberry, which I like. I have just issues with blueberry and wax sometimes. I just don't like it very much, but this is amazing. It literally smells like pancakes with tons of maple syrup and blueberries. So when I'm in the mood for that, I will love this very much. It's not my favorite, but it's very nice for what it is. And I like it for what it is. Okay. This next one from her, I do not think it's enough love. I got this in her last Mario pre-order and I have enjoyed it so much. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, every vendor has a sinus relief kind of blend. And this is my very favorite of all of them. This is called Dr. Mario. So this is sinus relief and lavender chamomile. Uh, a soothing, clean blend of mint, eucalyptus, camphor, musk, lavender, and chamomile. And this to me is just, uh, if you haven't smelled her lavender chamomile scent, I haven't seen it separately. I think I've actually only ever seen it in this blend, but this, you definitely get that sinus relief, but there's an extra touch of musk and the lavender chamomile in here is just like a, a freaking fluffy blanket that you're wrapped in. And it's so strong. This is one of my very favorite. I almost, almost got a loaf of this and I'm like, oh, maybe I should have. I have like three pieces left from last year that I'm going to throw in this bag. Um, such a good nighttime blend. It's nose clearing. It's fluffy. It's comfy. It's strong. It's gorgeous. If this is one you have looked over because for whatever reason, Next time she puts it out, try it. Dr. Mario is a love of mine from Rose Girls. Even if you're just a fresh, clean lover, a lavender lover, you must try this one. Oh, and I love the color she did it in this time. Last year, I think it was like a gray and purple. I'm not exactly sure, um, 
but ooh, so good. Okay, my last bag I got, um, and I think I got a bag of this last year or at least a sample of it. But my friend on Instagram and Facebook, like we're just friends, friends now, I think anyway, uh, her name's Candy. Her uh, IG is Bath and Relax. This is her favorite from the Mario lineup. I believe she said it's her favorite or one of her favorites. And this one's called Cheap Cheap Sleep. And this is French Lavender and Woolen Blankets. Now I've had French Lavender separately from Rose Girls and Woolen Blankets. French Lavender, I love. Her Woolen Blankets was okay. It wasn't my favorite. Mm. It's the, the Woolen Blankets is, ex to my nose, is extremely woodsy. Like very, very woodsy. Like raw wood. For some reason. I don't know why my, no my nose picks that up. So this is, but that French Lavender just, oh. Goodness, I freaking love French, her French lavender. So there's no sweetness to this, just so you guys know. To me, her wo her woolen blanket almost smells embery and raw woods together. So it's like, but not smoky. It's not. It's hard to explain. It doesn't smell like a blanket to me. Um, it smells like, like if you're splitting wood. <laughs> That's what it smells like to me with French lavender. I mean, this is a very, um, it's almost ruggedized because of that woolen blanket. That French lavender just brings it together. It's not my favorite of this release whatsoever, but it's beautiful. Like, I, I don't know if I'd purchase it again, but I'm so happy to have it. And if somebody like gifted it to me or, or just whatever, um, I'd be so happy to have it because I do really like it. It's just one that I have to be in a very particular mood to melt. Let me see if my bun, if I can block some of that light with my bun. Let's try that. Okay. So those are all my bags. I have my three loaves left. I was trying to decide which order to talk about these in, but I decided to do this one first. So, um, if you guys have followed me before on my IG, which by the way, it's at Danny loves wax on Instagram, or if you have followed me and watched my videos before, you know that I have stated that my very, very favorite coffee blend from Rose Girls is her espresso uh, sugar cookie wackadoodle. It's not anymore. I love that one. I love that one. I have a few chunks of it left. I have melted through it like crazy and I have really enjoyed it. And I that's still number two of all coffee scents of all vendor wax. But this one is number one. It's amazing. This is Koopa Claus needs a latte. Look at this loaf. She did such gorgeous loaves this year. So Koopa Claus needs a latte is her espresso, which I like better than her absolute coffee. Baked zucchini bread, royal sugar cookie, and Gilligan's brew. And her Gilligan's brew is a um, coconut and heavy whipped, heavy cream scent. And her royal sugar cookie is my very favorite, like plain cookie oil of all time. Her zucchini bread's amazing. Her espresso is amazing. Holy freak. This is a whole experience. Like you open this and you smell it and it's a full on experience. Look at, she did the Mario melters in there. Look at that. Ah, I'm so just freaking. And they're all throughout this. Loaf. Oh my gosh. And her loaves I've talked about before are just like extra dense. Like they, her loaves, even though like the pan is the same size, the amount like lasts longer because it's so dense. It's hard to explain. Oh my goodness. Freaking delicious. Um, okay. So I get the espresso first. What do I get next? The Royal sugar cookie maybe and zucchini bread. But if you don't like zucchini bread, don't be afraid of this. But I do get a touch of that Gilligan's brew. It's barely there, but it's just enough creamy, like super creamy coconut to make this just warm and creamy and just so inviting and just, oh my gosh, I can't, I don't know who came up with this blend. Jenny, if she watches my videos, who knows, but, um, was this you, was this whoever did this? It is just the most amazing coffee blend. It's still to me, coffee forward, espresso forward, which is what I look for in my coffee scents. Holy freaking moly. It's amazing. It is mouthwatering. Like if this was made into a drink or like a coffee cake or like a coffee cookie, I would just die. I would be willing to be 500 pounds to eat or drink whatever that is every day. 
Sorry, I hope they did not seem biased in any ways. In any way. I just mean I'd sacrifice anything to eat or drink something that tasted like that. Okay, this next one I have also raved about multiple times. I've had before. I have had this in her Mario melters before. I've had this in her pot half pie that I've melted an entire one of. I have gotten this in her chunk muffins. I love this scent. This was a new scent last year, I believe. So this is called, um, let me switch over here, Moon Mario. And this is a blend of her Cloud Nine, which I've never had separately, but her Cloud Nine is American Cream, Pink Sugar, and Zen. And then it's mixed with one of my very, very favorite mini melters of her ever, hers ever called Morning Sex. And Morning Sex is a very fresh, clean, early morning, clean man out of the shower, beautiful scent. Uh, to me, it's not super masculine, but other people think it is. So what do you do? But yeah, Moon Mario. Mm, okay, so interesting. Uh, me and one of my waxy friends were talking about how the loaf this year, this has smelled lighter because this is a strong scent when you melt it, like eight or nine out of 10. And earlier when I was smelling it, the loaf smelled lighter, but now it's smelling stronger. Maybe it's just needing a little bit of cure time. So this is like, it has pink sugar in it, but I don't want you to think this is a pink sugar scent because it isn't. Pink sugar just puts a touch of sweet, like a, the smallest touch of sweetness there. American cream makes it just slightly creamy. American cream to me doesn't have a whole lot of scent to it, but it makes anything you put it in creamy. And then her Zen is like a spa scent. And the morning sex to me is almost like a masculine spa. So this is like a creamy spa with a touch of masculine scent. And it is amazing. It's not even a clean scent. It's a fresh scent. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is smelling stronger already. So I'm much happier. And my favorite color is blue. Look at this. I don't know if it's blue and purple or blue and gray, but this is, the colors are just freaking stunning. This is an all year round melt for me. Mm. I'd say what comes out the most to me is that American cream almost. Zen and, and uh, morning sex. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Um, I know that there are now a ton of fans of this one. I don't think you have to be a masculine lover to love Moon Mario. I think you can just, if you want something fresh, relaxing, spa, clean, that isn't sharp, it's very smooth and creamy, you could enjoy this. So, okay, last but not least, the number one seller of this last uh, pre-order. Not only was it the number one seller, this is a new blend that no one has smelled before. Isn't that crazy how it's the number one seller and no one has smelled it before? And I'm blown away and I'm so happy. Josh Bales came up with this. If you've been in the wax world for a little bit, uh, you at least know who Josh Bales is. Um, I can't say I know him well, but I follow him. Um, and I've just kind of seen him around and he just seems to be a great person. Um, so this, I love the name of it and the notes. I was like, that's a lot, but it came together amazingly. So this is called, uh, once again, it's a blend by Josh Bales. Uh, this is called Christmas Eve in Cookie Land. This is eggnog, which I know you either love or hate eggnog. I'm a lover of eggnog. So eggnog, royal sugar cookie, monster cookie, marshmallow smoothie, and donut holes. So I was like, that's going to be a lot. <laughs> but whoo. So just so you know, Jenny's donut holes has spice to it. They're like cinnamon sugar donut holes. And then her marshmallow smoothie is marshmallow and like heavy cream. Her royal sugar cookie, once again, is my favorite cookie scent of hers and really in all of the vendor wax world. Her monster cookie to me is just okay. It's less sweet, less dense, more of a baked like, like oven cookie scent. And then eggnog, I've never had from Jenny before. So you gotta see this loaf too. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. Wow. So first and foremost, eggnog. <laughs> first and foremost, creamy, dense. It smells like eggnog. Whatever oil 
Jenny got is legit eggnog. You open a carton of eggnog or a bottle of eggnog, first and foremost. Then next, which is interesting, because uh, Jenny's donut holes to me is not strong. Um, that is one actually that I've had in a singular mini melter, and I just really couldn't smell it when I melted it. But I'm the reason why I think I'm smelling that is unless there is a little bit of spice in her eggnog oil, I'm smelling just a touch of spice. And I know her donut holes it has is like a sugar cinnamon sugar donut hole. So I am smelling a touch of spice, almost just like you have that thick eggnog with like sprinkled nutmeg and cinnamon on top or something like that. Um, I'm definitely getting that marshmallow smoothie and man, it just elevates sweetness to that creamy eggnog because marshmallow smoothie is very creamy, but it's sweeter than this eggnog oil. Um, and interestingly enough, Royal sugar cookie is a very strong cookie scent and I'm not getting it singularly, but I bet if it wasn't in here, this wouldn't be as amazing if that makes sense, because it gives such a good, strong base to everything. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm so glad that I just decided to get a loaf of it. I I think, I'm sure, because it was the number one seller that Jenny will release this again. Goodness sakes, Josh Bales, thank you for coming up with this, because it's just like a Christmas party dream like gourmand Christmas party dream. <laughs> I haven't had any eggnog yet this year and now I really want some. Eggnog and cinnamon sugar donuts with marshmallow cream and whipped cream everywhere. Amazing, 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 amazing. Are you guys as excited about me with about your pre-order? Um, do you guys love Rose Girls as much as I do? I just, I have tried now dozens of vendors and I don't know what it is. Rose Girls is just, it's my thing. It's my thing. I love Jenny. I love her team. I love her wax. Oh, it's so good. I just can't say enough about Rose Girls and these blends. I'm just thoroughly happy with this order. Um, so thank you so much. Have a great holiday season. Stay safe, please. Wear your mask. Melt your Rose Girls and be happy. Uh, happy holidays, and I hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you later.